Bonjour à tous. Uh, um, I, I hope you are not feeling asleep. I will uh, try to wake you up. Um, my name is Nicolas Delon. I'm from uh, Encore office in Paris, France. I can see you, but I think you are still here. Uh, my presentation will lean on uh, what we do. We are a small office with a selection of projects and also uh, about uh, how we manage to do. Because uh, talking about future of design for me is also a question of talking about future designers. And uh, I will try to share uh, the strategies and the tactics, uh, maybe no difference between both. Uh, and I got 87 slides, so uh, fasten your seatbelt. Uh, this is a place where we work. It's a small shop in the center of Paris. It's close to the street. And uh, this is people we are working with um, in a very, uh, very uh, team strategy for all kind of project. This is where we are working. Uh, so close from where we uh, are, uh, close from where the office is here. And also south of France because we came from there. And recently some project in Europe and, uh, and in Asia too. This first graphic shows a different uh, kind of project and, um, and uh, they're categorized. Uh, we, are not, we are against categorized, but uh, we, are, we think it's important to, to show like this. From 2001 to now, we are three main fields, uh, architecture, art installation, and design. Uh, but we will see later that we, are, uh, we try to remove these boundaries between these fields. This other one is maybe more important. It's about um, the responsibility of designer not just to answer a question, but also to initiate and to, uh, and to work in a prospective way. So you can see the two colors, one is response and the other one has a proposal. So we'll take five projects as our response and uh, five others as our more proposal. Uh, the first one, Herbefold, it was a small art installation in uh, using the air from the metro on Paris and we just add some light fabrics, uh, stripes. Uh, using uh, energy that is already here and just putting these small pieces of fabric just changing the place and changing the site and that was our first project very important one and we do it without any authorization like uh, like we want to do we want to act we're still at school but we want to get in reality so the response uh, from for a festival in Brussels, uh, the question was to link two square F one is very touristic one and the other one was in a very poor uh, neighborhood and they ask us to make an art installation between both. And we propose a camel uh, transportation company uh, to make people moving from one side to other side uh, because this, the, there was also a question of tourism. So we designed a stage landing for camels and also we bring back four camels from south of France to uh, Brussels. So the, um, the result was very, um, I don't know, kind of collage of touristic practice in a city like Brussels with, with very touristic, but with no dramatry. And uh, we also we can talk about transportation, about uh, future of transportation and all different things uh, on this starting point. And having a lot of fun doing, doing that too. Uh, Tobogon Olympic, there was a competition for uh, Olympic sign in uh, Paris for 2012. And the, the program was one step uh, on the ground with an exhibition and on the top uh, a place to see the future site and we propose to make a slide between both like uh, Olympic uh, tracks that we just blend and it was a free effort you can make a 100 meters race without running and it was also the question of ad adding a use uh, for people not just wa uh, waiting to come here because there is nothing to see it's future Olympic site so that was uh, the response we have. Chinoiserie wa was um, a blank slate for a uh, small architecture uh, uh, for a center of architecture in Bordeaux, south of France. And we, we cannot find ID, so we propose them to go abroad, to, uh, to, go, in, to go far away from where we are, to uh, be, uh, I don't know, to find IDs being on travel. So uh, with my partner, Julien Chopin, we've been to China and traveling from north to south and looking at everybody can get, can inspire us, like old one and brand new one. And we just stop on these two images, uh, the fishing nets and also the bale of straw. And we decided to make a small architecture with that, adding a, a use of uh, amoks. So we're creating a small structure made of wood and nets with inside 12 amoks, which are most of the time, it's a lonely, uh, you use amoks alone in your garden, but now we are mutualizing them and there is 12 around inside the structure under the shade of the nets. 
uh, Musée de Suren, it's, um, it's the first uh, public competition that we won uh, one, one year ago. It was a small museum for a city close to Paris, and in a, we have to work on an exec existing building, an uh, old train station, and also to add a new one. So we, like, you, we made a, a very simple uh, uh, wall, concrete wall, uh, that is made a new basis for the old uh, building. And this, uh, just this image for saying that we don't have a uh, formal or material uh, you know, philosophy or chapels. We are always wait, or looking for the right response at the right place. So sometimes it's very thin, sometimes it's very thick, sometimes it's wood, sometimes it's concrete, whatever, but try to, to do what we think is the best for the place. And uh, Gorby Palace, it's also the zoo as we just, uh, we just talked before. So we were part of the zoo, maybe the, the Frenchy frog or something. And it was the same place, but in winter. And uh, our response was to, uh, instead of doing one building, we decided to make five uh, around a central void. And also the other point, uh, so like this, I will view. The other point was to, 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 to design um, a very low tech, very uh, efficient uh, thermal wall. So we use uh, the we use the traditional bricks, but we put it on the side, doing a, a special adjustment with 40% of, of void that made really insulated wall. Because in, in in Mongolia it's minus 40 degrees in winter and plus 40 in summer. So we think it was very important to also to to add something in this direction. But not with technology, not with system that we cannot be sure that will work. So with a very low tech approach and doing a kind of retro futuristic uh, solution, what we call. So we have wall of two meters at the, at the down and um, 1.4 meters at the, um, at the end. And its side is more central space that can be used for any kind of things and also used for, I don't know, animals and it's a non-eating place. So that was the first part, I just take water. Okay. Uh, so the second part is proposal. The first one is Vagoncen, it was our diploma with uh, Julien, and he was using the um, uh, train courtyard to, uh, to move a concert hall. So we were using elements that already exist, like a train and like a, a circus tent that we are redesigning and it became uh, it's a closed one and open one. So the story was to use a space that are not used uh, most of the time and also to use a special way of transportation, which is train. We, we really love the train. We don't know why, but we are really interested by this way of transportation. And uh, so there's an exterior view and inside also the train is not just here to move the stuff, but also it's part of the inside. And this is a view from the entrance. So there was very uh, prospective project. We met uh, train companies and many of them, and for now it's not really existing, but we made different projects uh, due to this one. The Room Room project is a project about emergency architecture. We're inviting by um, National Art Museum of China to uh, think about shelters and emergency uh, architecture. And we made many studies about different place, and we, we found that um, most of the time, even if it's a natural disaster, political disaster, or social disaster, uh, people uh, became homeless, and, and homeless is, a play, is uh, where you can have a safe place to sleep. So we wanted to work on this starting point, a safe place to sleep, and we designed this small architecture that you can move alone, uh, or by bikes, or with animals. And there is three positions. One is to move, the other one is to sleep, and the last one is to stay, and uh, you are just turning the... the flipping the, the box. So these are uh, image simulation. Also the idea is to make the first room of the future, uh, of the future dwelling, the future shelter, and not just something that you will remove after, and maybe it will be the safer room of your uh, future uh, house. This is a more urban, uh, urban station. We designed it to be on a, a car, uh, car emplacement. And that was the first prototype that we made in Paris cross Paris with it and also talking with people about this question. It was very interesting. And uh, that was a view from the inside. And that was the second prototype that we made in China, who was more precise and more, more precise in uh, many ways. And that was the second, uh, the second position. Windit is a project that we are developing with 
engineer from Elliot uses group and the idea of where can we add some wind turbines in the landscape. There is a big uh, subject on that in France and we propose to mix uh, electric pylons and wind turbines together in different scale. The first one are more uh, plugs like on existing pylons we add wind turbines and the second one is more a new pylons that mutualize the cost of electric pylons, electric lines and uh, wind turbines. And uh, with this project, we won the Metropolis Prize. Uh, I want to say hi to uh, Suzanne. And it was also an important point for this project that we just work on it in, on our side. And uh, with this time, we are now getting further to develop in a very different, uh, good direction. So there was also uh, just a quote for that. And so interesting by the, the state, um, the state state of the electric uh, grills. Uh, we are very bad and also very, um, there is big question about that. So we try to work on a superposition of uh, poor grids and also wind potential. And the last project is Mongolia Urban Studio. Uh, four days ago, I, I was in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia with students from Ecole Spéciale d'Architecture. And we were there to uh, look at a unique situation of the capital of Mongolia with uh, uh, a very strange city and half of the city is made of yurts uh, settlement that's nomadic people that, that come in town and uh, we look at this image on, uh, on Google Earth and so we've been there by, by ourselves and now we are working with a uh, school there to start collaboration and uh, to start to think the future of this city and uh, with the point that we don't want to do the future of our city but we really want to work with them with their future and uh, a very uh, sharing experience. So it's a, it's a big uh, thing there and a first step of we help uh, a long stair. And uh, this is a kind of uh, place with a yurt, with a very uh, unique dwelling, like nomadic dwelling. And that was uh, the work we made there with students to make a sensitive, uh, sensitive map of a neighborhood in a small city uh, in north of uh, Ulaanbaatar. So we'll finish with this uh, image. Uh, we really love it because uh, for us it's picture, uh, it's example of using more brain and less material and that's one direction. Also we want to say that um, the fight to stay generalist uh, in a time where, where we ask everybody to be more and more specialist, we think we have to be generalist and connecting things and people and ideas. The other point is uh, the environmental issue, we call it ecology, green design, sustainable, whatever. We think it's the big thing now, but it's, it's a big thing uh, linked to social design, uh, social issue, and also affordable solution. If not, it's not, it's not, um, it's not possible. And the last point, it's not to see maybe designers as people that just find the right question to maybe some wrong, uh, the right answer to maybe some wrong question, but maybe designers are people that are asking new questions and work to find the positive solution. Thank you very much.